Howdy neighbors! We've got a very odd debate that's been going on in certain circles out there in the tea world or the herb world. Very strange. Stick around and find out what it is. Does chocolate mint taste like chocolate? Alright, welcome back to Eccentric Nature where today we're talking about chocolate mint. And I've also got some cinnamon basil in here just for fun. The debate about chocolate mint is this. There are certain circles that say chocolate mint is not chocolatey at all. Yeah, so is there some truth to this? In fact, kind of. <laughs> Here's the facts. Chocolate mint to me actually is a little chocolatey and I did quite a few full-on smell tests of just the herb itself and of the tea here. You don't really get nearly as much of it in the tea. I, I can say that when I smell it on the tea, I don't smell much of a chocolate scent at all. I get more just that minty menthol smell. But when I taste it, I definitely get more of that richy chocolate kind of feel. The trick is this. What is there is very light and it's very elegant and refined, okay? What do I mean by that? There is a chocolate hint in there, but it's not a very strong. I mean, like when you smell re regular chocolate, it's like, oh, I definitely know that smell. When you smell it here, it's like, is it there or is it not? So if you have a very refined nose or a very refined palate, you can definitely tell that difference. But if you don't, you could very well taste this and go, it just tastes like mint. It's just minty. So if you don't have a very refined palate, you can basically taste it and go, no, it's just peppermint or spearmint or just some other mint. It's, there's no real difference between them. Eh. So that is the real trick, is that it's really a matter of your own senses and what you're able to taste on your taste buds or smell through your olfactory senses and just how refined each of those is. Because it is there, it does exist, this is not a myth. Now in some circles there are people who say that it smells a little bit like an Andes mint or a York peppermint patty. Hmm. I definitely can get that sense of it when I uh, sm uh, smell the actual leaf. You don't necessarily get that so much when you taste it. I can maybe get a little bit of that sense of saying, yeah, I can see a little bit of that York peppermint patty twist in there. Overall, that's, uh, that is a bit more of just you know, like I said, being your, your refinedness of the whole thing. So it is there. It does exist. So yeah, when you're uh, experiencing chocolate mint, uh, one way or another, uh, it's still great, okay? If you want to have some chocolate mint, it is definitely different from having regular spearmint or peppermint, and it's well worth trying on its own. As to whether you sense any of these things, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your take on this. If you're team yes there's chocolate or team no, I don't taste it at all. Because both are completely valid and it's a matter of your own taste buds is what I think it is. And I don't think it's a matter of the fact that um, it exists or it doesn't exist. I think it exists. I think it's just some people's senses get it, some people's senses don't. And that's just the way we're built as humans, baby. You gotta accept that. Okay? Hey, if you like this video, you can check out my other review of Chocolate Mint that I did a while back. A little bit different on that one. Check out my, one of my wonderful history videos in my uh, history and mythology videos playlist. Woo! That's fun, baby! Okay, you guys continue on with another video and have a great day. Take care of each other and enjoy your Chocolate Mint. I love chocolate. I love mint. It's the world I live in.